Late last year, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir told me two of his top priorities in the new budget were raising pay for all school workers, including teachers, by 11 percent and creating a universal pre-K system for the Commonwealth. But neither are in their final version of the budget from the GOP-controlled legislature. Chris McDaniel of Taylor Mill heads the Senate Finance Committee. Teacher raises and universal pre-K. That's not in this budget. Why is it not in the budget? McDaniel says direct teacher raises would be outside the state's normal way of funding schools. If you go outside of the formula, you go against the constitutionally governed formula um, for funding the state's schools. McDaniel says the budget does include nearly $180 million more for school systems, about 3% more than the previous budget. He says districts can then give raises with that money as a way to meet constitutional standards. Lawmakers also agreed to put a much larger share of cash reserves into one-time spending on roads and prisons. There's also $125 million allocated for a biomedical center at Covington's new Central Riverfront District, which would also house NKU's Chase Law School. As for universal pre-K? There's lots of pre-K already offered um, through state and federal programs for lower income uh, and special needs children that we believe is sufficient. Um, once, once it hits beyond that, uh, there's already pre-K around the state, both public and private, that people can attend. Last week, Bashir said the budget process went much more smoothly than in the past, and the current bills are closer to what he wanted than in the beginning of the session. But still... I am currently disappointed that there is not um, mandated teacher raises and universal pre-K. James Pilcher, Local 12 News. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.